All right, so uh, this is Packet Tracer 10.3.1.1, and it's IOE and DHCP. On this Packet Tracer, we're going to build it as well as configure it. So we're going to start off, and it says configure a Cisco 1941 router. So we're going to grab one of those routers. Okay. So then we're going to get about five computers so let's say you have five computers at your house right so you have two desktops and then you got a laptop all right and we're gonna need a switch but it doesn't really specify what type of switch so we're just gonna go down here to the switches and then we're gonna let's say Let's grab the 2960 router, I mean switch. So we grab that switch. There's a router that they were talking about and then our five devices. We're gonna go ahead and connect all these laptop. together. To the switch, next laptop. So we're just gonna connect everything together. Just like that. All right, so now we can start configuring it. So it says, configure a Cisco 1941 router or DHCP server capable ISR device for IPv4 and IPv6 DHCP addressing. So we're going to go to the router, go into CLI, and we're going to type N for no, then EN, conf T, and we're going to start with IP DHCP. Actually, hold on one second. All right, we got IP DHCP and then exclude excluded dash address space one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one and then one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot ten enter all right now type in IP DHCP pool and then S M U R F S enter now type in the network so network and then the address 192.168.1.168.1.0 or dot one dot zero space two five five dot two five five space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot five space space and then the subnet mask is 255 255 255 dot 0 enter and then type in the default router so default router all right hold on router and then the ip address 192.168 dot one dot one enter and now the interface is int g zero space zero enter I'm gonna assign the IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one and then the subnet mass two five five two five five by five dot zero and then no shut okay so change state to up and now interface g zero slash one enter switch port okay 
After you do that, you're going to go to all the PCs, go to desktop, IP configuration, and change this to DHCP. And then it should get a, a DHCP request, and it should say it's successful. Then you go to the next one, you do the same thing. There we go. Next one, same thing. Okay. And then we just, we're gonna do this to all the computers. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna try to ping from one of the computers to the other one. So let's see from PC zero to the laptop. That one was successful. From this PC to the PC one, successful. This PC, let's try to ping to the router. And that one was successful as well. Okay, 